I hope these buffaloes don't mistake this to be also their sibling or somebody. I'm on my way just for a small short spin. So the best way is hold this, pull it, rock it a bit, leave it on the side stand, get onto it, pull it back. Yeah. Okay, short spin this kelte din the battery good charge out of the good narpina tunta the that's how my bike looks. Isn't she a beauty here? She's an absolute beauty. Wow, now can you go e bike key? It does not put a good difference on Pete Ledu, honestly speaking. Seriously, it does not put a nice way. In a nice way. It does not put also in a nice way. Because this bike is so massive that you might feel. <laughs> I hope these buffaloes don't mistake this to be also their sibling or somebody. It's such a pleasure to be on this bike after such a long time, man. Jai Matadi, Bhai Sahab. What a feeling to be on this bike, man. Literally. Yepuru, yepuru bike thi yali bike ki yepuru bike thi yala unta ne unta no. Kani varshalo la kudar le do. Kani wala matra. Finally, I decided. Oka chinnna short ride. Definitely, this bike requires because oka Denali sound bomb is what I need to probably get if somebody is coming from the US to replace this horn. I'm not in a hurry, of course. Let's look at my vehicle stats. 36, 42, perfect. If you can see, it's 36, 42 this time. It's an absolute pleasure, absolute pleasure to ride this bike. It like express chale, chinna bilal laga I'm just, I'm not, I'm not going for a, I'm not going for a highway ride. I will just be going across um, for maybe a 15, 10, 10 kilometers, 15 kilometers ride, and then I'm back. So that this bike gets uh, the required uh, battery charging done. I also get my adrenaline rush. Ah, ha, ha, ha. I really love this bike. You need to be on the saddle to really understand what I'm saying. Seriously, trust me. If you get a chance, test ride the 1250 in your nearest dealership. If you get a chance, right? I'm sure they do have a 1250. They may not have a GSA Adventure. They'll have a GS, but you will get a you will get a drift of what I'm talking about. And don't do short rides. Huh? I would mean, request your BMW guy if you're serious to buy this bike, and if you're seriously contemplating to even buy this bike later in the future, tell the guy that look, I need a small, a slightly longer ride. Uh, I'm honestly up to you know. When I went first out uh, to do a test ride of this bike, um, you know, another Ninja 1000 SX on Devundu, I sold it, I bought this bike. So I went to the showroom, and uh, this is true story, okay? I mean, um, I went to the showroom, uh, and I said I want to test ride a 1250GS, and they had one, uh, which actually looked brand new, and I said, this is a brand new bike. I said, no, oh, sir, this is a test ride bike. I mean, they maintain their bikes brilliant. So, and I took the bike out and it was probably a very short spin. I mean, Atlantic La Mundu Kelly, Kunchan Duran Kelly, then you take a U turn and come back and you're done. That's how it was. And I, and you know, after I drove, rode that bike just for the maybe three or four kilometers and came back, I said, I'm not buying this bike because I really didn't like it. Because the inline force symphony is so lovely that uh, you really wouldn't like the boxer twin, okay? And also I said, what's so brilliant about this bike that people are doing so much of rara around the fact that this is a brilliant bike. I came back and trust me, the BMW guys uh, called me after a week and said, sir, you test drove the bike and how did you find it? And I said, look, I didn't like the bike. Honestly, I didn't like the bike. And the person said, what do you mean you didn't like the bike? I said, no, I mean, I, I somehow didn't like the bike because it's not worth the price that you're on. And then he said, okay, so let's do one thing. I'll get this bike home, yeah, once I get this bike home, you do a test ride, we'll go for a slightly longer spin, and it's not about whether you buy the bike or not, but I just want to prove the point that, you know, why you didn't like the bike, I said, okay, bring it, and that guy came home, and 
he he was riding my ninja and i took the bmw and we went on for a highway spin exactly the route that i'm riding right now he he rode with me um and the moment i started opening the throttle and going on this bike the kind of confidence the bike gave me when i was riding and i did about maybe 15 15 30 kilometers i would think which is a decent test ride for a bike of this price that you want to buy and i said to the guy i'm sold and then i went ahead and um, i mean and made my booking okay now the dilemma and i'll talk about it a little later later on as to why i picked up a gs adventure and not a gs which i test rode it's a different story altogether which i'll tell you some because the way you sit on the bike okay and the kind of pull that this gives you and the wind deflection it has got is next level so i fell in love i said this is the bike i'm going to pick so my honest suggestion is that if you are in the market to buy this bike and you feel that ke bas ek chota test ride hua and i'm not i'm not able to understand what this bike is my ardent request is go for a longer spin ride on the open roads a bit ask the guy request the dealer saying that look you know i need a slightly longer test ride and they'll oblige i must tell you they will bike is then a hoot absolutely you would love it you would just love it so that was my experience of uh, you know buying this bike or just after after i finished my test ride at the bmw service station service showroom i went to the triumph uh, showroom and uh, not for the triumph tiger but i had this big inclination of buying the uh, triumph rocket uh, gt you know um and i went there uh, i price i looked at the price of course they don't have a test ride by they, they didn't have a demo bike as I mean, it's a it's a very nice piece of machinery uh, largest uh, cc production bike or you know the largest capacity motor bike in the world they call it insane power okay and um, the looks of the bike is killer there is no two ways um, but then i did my research um, you know after that you know I thought I'll buy the bike first, okay? You know, and then and then after that, when this BMW guy came home, and then I did, a, I, you know, and I test rode the 1250 GS, and I kind of said I'm sold for it. After that, I still said I'm not going to give away the rocket without doing the right proper homework, and I did a proper homework for the rocket as well. The reviews are brilliant. It's a great machine to ride. But what I realized is when I kind of evaluated the whole thing, it, it probably is not meant for me. Yeah, it's definitely meant for people. There's no two ways about it. I just felt it's not meant for me, and I dropped the bike, right? And um, then went ahead to do a little more research on whether it should be GS or a GSA. And I will tell you why I picked a GS Adventure over a GS uh, in my next short blog that I'll come out. Buying the GS Adventure has been a great decision of mine. It's so today I am just out on the highway. I'm really liking this man. This is such a lovely weather to ride. How I wish, you know, uh, it, it just couldn't go out. But it's Saturday. Um, you know, I I just came out and tomorrow is Sunday. Hopefully if it doesn't rain, I would really like to take this bike out for a spin. For I just like riding when it is cloudy, it's windy, it could be cold, it could be warm, it could be even hard, but that's fine, but not when it is raining. You know, today I've changed the uh, position of my mic as well, uh, so I've got my road lavalier go right from my chin, uh, rather to my mouth in front of me, um, just to get better clarity of the voice, reduce the wind noise. I've got a dead cat also fitted in front of it. So tell me, how how do you think is the is the audio quality of this particular microphone with the dead cat and the positioning of it in front of my mouth? You know what? I've come out to buy dhania and curd on a BMW 1250 GS. So that's going to be the title: dhania and curd, dhania and dahi on BMW 1250. <laughs> Trust me. I mean, I was coming out for a ride, so I thought, okay, I knew it's coming out for a ride. I go back home. I got to park this bike, then take out my scooty or my, you know, another two wheeler to bring it out. So instead of that, why don't I just carry the backpack and I just on my way dump it? I still don't have a top case, but when I buy a top case, you know that issue won't be there. So I just need to dump it in my backpack now, right? Okay, which I will do. So Tahi and Tania on BMW. Kya baat hai? What a title!
जय भैया दही है यार ओके होम नाउ स्वीट होम ओके गाइस बैक होम नाउ थैंक यू सो मच शॉर्ट क्विक राइड होप यू लाइक डेट अवे गुड वीक एंड एनी बड़ी राइडिंग आई होप इट इज इन ट्रेन टुमारो एंड इफ इट इज नॉट ट्रेनिंग एंजॉय द राइड स्पीच यू लेटर टेक केयर बाय नाउ Don't go right down the side, PCH, cause you're living, I don't need a guide